there, my name is Kenneth and I am the PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab Learning Center. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of my strategies on solving questions regarding uh, interactions between animals. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to introduce to you today is the population pyramid. The key idea here is that the organism which is at the bottom of the population pyramid would always have the larger population because it has more energy. So as we go up the food chain, the population becomes smaller and smaller because the organisms contain less and less energy. We would say that the organism which is on top of the population pyramid would be a predator of the organism below. However, I'd like to emphasize that the grasshopper cannot be a predator of the plant because the plant is a food producer. So we say that the grasshopper is a food consumer. Subsequently, we can say that the bird is a predator of the grasshopper the grasshopper is a prey of the bird or we can say also that the bird preys on the grasshopper and the snake is a predator of the bird the bird is a prey of the snake and then we can also say that snake preys on the bird if we apply this concept to the population graph what we will get here is that population of A is higher than population of B therefore A is a prey of B or we say that B is a predator of A so I'm going to use another graph to help you to understand this uh, concept a little bit further. So we look at C here. C has the smallest population from the beginning. So we can confirm that uh, C is a predator of B. However, as you look at C, it increases with time while A also decreases with time. Therefore, we conclude that population of C is a predator of A and B. If you'd like to find out more about our science programs, do give us a call at 8621-1533 or click on the link below to sign up for our PSLE preparation course for 2014. Thank you. Bye.